Hello. 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 Let's talk about fats. Good versus bad. I don't even know what accent that is. <laughs> hey Fit Fam, Chris here, lead coach at MorelliFit.com, coming to you with some awesome information on fats. We're gonna talk about good fat and bad fat. Let's get it right into it. Good fats here, as you can see, I don't have them all listed down, but I have what I consider some of the best ones that you should look for. Grass-fed. So when it comes to grass-fed, what we're talking about there is grass-fed dairy, grass-fed butter, grass-fed beef. Anything that has been naturally pasture-raised is going to have a better nutritional profile. So that's what we're talking about when we say grass-fed. The other side of that is conventionally raised animal products. So things that are, are conventionally raised, they're fed corn, they're fed junk, they're not fed the whole nutritious diets that they're supposed to be getting. So you wanna try to avoid those and, and go for the, uh, the grass-fed beef, grass-fed uh, butter and dairy. And the main reason is it's gonna have higher amounts of things like CLA, omega-3 fatty acids. Overall, the fat content of it is just better. Coming back over here, we've got wild caught fish. So a couple of things that you should look for when it comes to wild caught fish, salmon is always gonna be your numero uno. That's the best one. From there you have tuna, mackerel, really high in those omega-3s. Sardines are also a really good one too, but most people don't like them, so I don't usually mention them. Getting into the nuts, nut butters are an excellent source of healthy fats, the poly and monounsaturated fats. Walnuts also do contain omega-3s along with chia seeds also are a good source of omega-3 fats. The reason we want those is they're just, they're really, really good for inflammation. They help to reduce and fight inflammation as well as improve eyesight, improve the health of our skin, our hair, our nails. Just a, a very good thing to look for and to get from your diet. It's difficult to get omega-3s, so you definitely wanna make sure that you're including uh, either chia, walnuts, or some, uh, some salmon, some wild caught fish. You can even get eggs now that are, uh, that are have omega-3s in them, or more omega-3s than normal. That brings us to our next one, which is eggs. When you shop for eggs, you don't necessarily have to get the ones that say uh, omega-3s, but just definitely get the ones that are pasture-raised, organic. They'll always go organic when you can. And coconut oil and olive oil. So these are the two most popular oils to cook with, aside from butter. They, uh, they do handle heat fairly well, but olive oil, it's a common one to cook with, but it doesn't handle heat as well as uh, coconut oil or grass-fed butter will. So if we're gonna cook with it, definitely make sure you're, gonna, you're going with the coconut oil or grass-fed butter. Leave the olive oil for things like, like dipping or for making uh, dressings for your salad, stuff like that. It's always better to consume that raw. So let's come over here a little bit. Let's dig into the unhealthy fats. Now we're gonna talk about why they're unhealthy. The most common unhealthy fats that most people aren't even aware are bad for us are going to be your highly processed vegetable oils. And what are those? So the, the most common ones you're gonna find in your foods, and again, these are always gonna be boxed or packaged foods, is canola oil, which is actually rapeseed oil, heavily, heavily processed in order to obtain that fat. And it's soybean oil and safflower oil. Now there are a couple others, but these are the most common. These are fats that, uh, they are vegetable oils and otherwise thought to be healthy. Uh, you might find like your, your butter alternatives, your margarines are gonna be made with these. The reason these are so bad is they actually increase inflammation big time in the body. They're actually one of the main causes of heart disease and just overall inflammation that they will aggravate your arthritis or any other inflammatory disorder that you might be dealing with and they actually can make them much worse. That also leads us into trans fat. So trans fats for the most part are man-made. They're essentially plastic. They are boiled or heated to a very, very high degree with hydrogen to change the bond or to change the molecular structure of the fat, making it go from liquid at room temperature to a solid at room temperature so that we can cook with it and, and preserve foods with it longer. That's why all your packaged and boxed foods, Oreos, cookies, they're always gonna have some form of hydrogenated oil in them. And if you're curious as to does, th does this food have this oil in it, all you gotta do is flip that package around and I want you to read through the ingredients list and look for the word hydrogenated. That means it's got trans fat in it. And something that a few years back the FDA recommended or required, not recommended, but required that trans fat be listed on all labels. But the catch is, is they only have to list it if it's over one gram per serving. So they got a little sneaky on us and they started making the servings small enough so that that serving was just less than one gram. So it wouldn't have to be listed, but you're still gonna find it in the ingredients list. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping. You shouldn't be buying box packaged foods anyway, but if you're going to, just watch out for that. These are your healthy and your unhealthy fats. Keep in mind that when you're selecting these, 
The other things that you're getting aside from healthy fats are lots of nutrition. Fats always come with nutrients. That is why we want to consume them. They're also gonna increase satiety, keep you fuller longer. So try to avoid these. Search for fats like these. I hope this served you. I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, be patient, stay the course, and let's get fit together.